So to conclude, we're going to end the session, <laughs> literally. Um, the software uh, is probably really good for uh, use in a K-Box situation. Uh, it looks like it's it's uh, dummy proof and very straightforward and uh, probably built more for touchscreen than anything, uh, but it's simply not very professional in terms of uh, for uh, hosting or for mobile mobile karaoke jockeys who go from venue to venue. There's no there's no rotation management in it at all. There's no real um, professional options, I'll put it. And, but it looks good. I mean, it's nice and bright. It's colorful. Uh, it's easily readable. Uh, you can adjust the text size, which is, uh, something that's really nice for people who have visual uh, issues, um, which you can't do on any other software. Um, so, uh, yeah, my overall rating on the software itself is if you're running a K-Box, it's probably an 8 or 9 out of 10. Um, if you're a mobile content on karaoke provider it's a one out of ten just there's simply not enough features for for it to be a viable hosting rotation management software for for uh, mobile services okay so we're going to stop everything um and then i'll open up the content here their book is Pretty straightforward. It looks like any other book that we would use, uh, you know, listed by artist in two lines. And then, you know, it's 133 pages. So it'd be easy to print out and provide a physical copy of the book. Um, but the content itself in terms of music is, I can't really speak to the Spanish language music. It sounds fine, uh, doesn't sound, but um, as for everything else, they don't have any lyric swipes. That's going to be a deal breaker for a lot of people. They're gonna find that out. They're gonna cancel the subscription uh, because they're gonna get complaints that there are no lyrics lyrics to sing to, uh, except it seems in the um, the public domain stuff. Uh, as for the legality, I, I'm really calling it in question. I haven't spoken to anyone at the K box or the Singberry, so I wouldn't know. Uh, but again, from my my s brief interaction with uh, Michael Yelvington over at uh, Cybersound and Karaoke.net. Uh, it looks like that they're using the Tropical Zone uh, catalog without licensing it, uh, or even if they are, they're distributing it where they're not supposed to be distributing it or allowing streaming. Uh, when I say distributing, that's what I mean. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I guess for the, the the number of songs you get, it's it's good, um, but the fact that there are so many other uh, streaming services out there that include everything, uh, that either you can either set it up through the hosting software that you already own, uh, or a proprietary software that works a little better for hosting. Uh, and you don't have to pay for individual content. Uh, other than like Content Unlimited, that's the only other company I know that you have to actually literally pay for extra content. Um, and maybe if you consider uh, PCDJ, Karaoke Guy, or any other uh, hosting software that's affiliated with uh, uh, Karaoke Cloud Pro, 
or uh, Party Time Karaoke Pro. I know uh, they haven't integrated into Karaoke. I, I would love them to because that's uh, one of the hosters I use. I either use Karma or Karaoke or Open KJ. Um, so it would be great to see that integrated. Um, but then again, the, host, the hosters itself are built by somebody else, and then the content is a separate provider is a separate company as well. Whereas it seems like Red Karaoke um, is claiming to be an all-in-one, so the content itself is being administered by them. Obviously, it's not being administered by Tropical Zone itself, um, because Tropical Zone, as far as I know, is no longer around. And again. Uh, the catalog is owned uh, by karaoke.net uh, and Cybersound Records, and they don't seem to have any knowledge or, of, or at least Michael himself, uh, maybe somebody within the company uh, does, and he's just not aware that the that that they have licensed the software. Uh, but I find that high, highly unlikely um, from interacting with Michael on the on the Facebook groups. Uh, he seems to be uh, pretty much involved and knows what's going on within the company itself. Uh, so I guess I'm kind of rambling here. So I'll just bring it to uh, the conclusion saying that uh, out of my ratings for for each thing, uh, Tropical Zone, uh, Again, music's great. Uh, I think that they're probably trying to avoid something, something with not including the swi the lyric swipes, uh, and that's the same with everything. Um, I've used. I think I have maybe one or two. Oh no, I have a, a couple of the uh, Tropical Zone packs. So to tell say that the music from Tropical Zone is well-produced, high-quality, uh, full band. Um, as for the renditions itself, I can't really tell you. I don't know the Spanish, I don't know much Spanish music itself. Um, the, the swipes on the discs are excellent. And what's provided through Red Karaoke is just, it's just inadequate. Um, in terms of in terms of what you get with like for the swipes and what you're what you're paying for because it doesn't state that the swipes that the lyrics on screen lyrics are not available so you're paying the the thirty nine dollars forty dollars for the for it assuming that you're getting the swipes so the value is just not there uh, I would rate the music itself. Uh, eight or nine, uh, but the overall content uh, as a professional KJ who needs the swipes as a one. Uh, the same would go for the K box. Um, if it's the same company that I am thinking of that used to pr produce CDG, but have just changed their name to kind of streamline everything from karaoke box to K box, uh, the content is is good again same thing with tropical zone uh the quality the sound the fact that it's full band is all great uh the actual renditions themselves couldn't tell you um but the lack of uh on-screen lyrics is what kills it um so again i would say the music itself uh seven or eight uh, but again, for uh, what you're going to get for to use as a professional, a uh, one. Uh, the free, the Red Karaoke free, the complimentary 30 songs. Uh, I really rate. I, I I give it a bravo that they've included the the, the on-screen lyrics, but they're all MIDI. So, um, and I dislike MIDI, I don't use it at all, so I would rate it uh, at a one itself. Okay, I uh, hope this, hope you found this very helpful. I hope it wasn't long, it wasn't boring. Um, 
and uh, hopefully maybe I'll do some more reviews on the fly uh, on some other stuff, perhaps uh, some of the other hosters that I've uh, tried out, the other services that I've tried out. And uh, yeah, please uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear back from you if you've used the service, if you like it, if you hate it, uh, what your feelings are simply from my talking, etc. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, listening, and uh, 